Harry and Meghan reject claim that Queen wasn't consulted on Lilibet's name. Um, of course, we celebrated with Harry and Meghan. They just gave birth to the kid. And, you know, of course, with every birth, there is a naming ceremony. And I guess, according to them, they have to consult with the Queen Mother. <laughs> and, well, she is disputing the fact that they did consult with her because that was like a childhood name that, you know, was like a nickname around then back in the years for her and i don't know why they're just going back and forth i don't know who is saying the truth or who is lying i, I don't understand what's i going think on. everybody should just keep quiet and move on with the Full end, stop. Right? yes one side says bloody stop playing the victim all the time you've gotten what you want just move on and the other side so who is being the victim here who else do you think is being the victim harry oh i'm on the side of the royals <laughs> they are both royals no, 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 they're not. How are they royals? Uh, Did he not, um, uh, what was that word? Oh, come on. The word evades me. Uh, yeah. Did he not abandon the whole thing? Uh, so yeah, the word is not the abandoned. Queen. There's actually a word for it. But if I remember, when I remember, I'll let you know. Yeah, he abandoned the whole thing now. They can't go where they go before. Now, Canada, be the first go place in Canada. Yeah. They went there and so crying wolf he over left, there. But because he abandoned like, the do you title. Know what I, do you know what I faced? In the hands of the queen, <laughs> you have no idea. It's racism. Oh, Benny, move ahead. You don't have empathy for people. No, I don't have empathy for people who foresaw something, went into it, and then came. Bro, <laughs> you know that there's broken glass here. You know if you walk through it, you're going to get caught. And you still walk through it, and you're over on the other side yelling for help. Isn't that being stupid? Well, that's what life is. So people still, it's, it's not just in real life. This happens every day, not just in relationships or marriages. Or It happens every time you take the risk. Same thing with investors. So, they don't see that so, that is going to crash, but so they still when invest is, in when it. Is, when, is, when is a certain way, mm. it's called risk. When is the other way, it's called what? It's called love. Love is a risk. I slapped you two of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so a spokesman, a spokesperson actually said that um, they spoke with the, the first family member they called was Harry's grandmother, adding that the royal has spoken to other members of his family. They still call him royal because he's royal. It's part of his blood, right? You can't take that away from him, Quincy. We spoke to other members of his family before revealing that he had chosen the name Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor with Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Okay, so you guys should just let this couple leave. I feel like um, there needs to be a lot of mental health, or is it psychological um, engagements with these guys? I don't know. They need to see a shrink, not in a negative way, but just to help them get over the hurt and pain that they probably feel like they've been through. Who is that? Um, according to you, they say they're playing victims. You, you say they're playing victims. I don't yeah, think that they're playing victims. I feel like she went through something and maybe she's not just what, over what, it yet. What did she went stress, through? Stress. Mental stress. She, she should go jogging Major or mental stress. Thinking yeah. maybe uh, when, when next week. Yeah, but now she has me, a when, family to exactly, herself, right? But it doesn't mean that Do you, you know just what I mean? get over the trauma of everything that you've been to, no matter how little. But that is... The same way you can hold your breath for so long, <sighs> Quincy. Someone else can hold their breath for longer. Point is different what thresholds. What that one guys do with anything like My this? point is different <laughs> thresholds, guys. Different people have different thresholds for pain, for trauma, or anything. So if she's still, you know, in that space, or if they are still in that space, you should let them be and heal as they can. You sound like you sound like you're in support of the white girl in that horror movie who could not just stand up and run away, even if she had like two. Listen, when some she had, white like, girls run minutes. away. Yeah. Yeah. Some white girls, girls, not all white girls, just sit and just stay and say, don't kill me, don't kill me, even if they know that they're going to die anyway. You know, not all of them that's There's a gun and it's like, ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but you get my point. Okay, Chris. She's already coming. We, we hope it that they get now, over the crying. whole situation. And we wish them well. Congratulations once again. We love you, uh, Duchess of Sussex. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not the wheel. And welcome, Lilibet, to the world. <laughs> Be prepared. That's what I'm going to say. Um... Last story for the day, uh, of course, still on the Twitter ban, our uh, Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, demands. Wait, Twitter. Why, why did you enforce? Why did you? No, 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 no. What? Can you explain why you emphasize so much on the first name? That's the way they pronounce the name. Is that, it's pronounced what? 
Lai Muhammad. Huh? What's the first name? Lai Muhammad. Eh? Lai Muhammad, the guy, what's going on? The, the three words, three uh, letters first. Yeah. Before the Muhammad. Uh, I, I, pronounce right, it properly. You pronounce it now. <laughs> Anyways, he demands that Twitter and others must register in Nigeria. I don't know what Chris is trying to. You want them to get me arrested, Abby? We got down together, bro. Listen, I hold you tight. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure you guys have read the whole um, post on social media. But if you haven't and you're tuning in, yes, this is where you get the freshest news. And the Minister of Information and Culture has demanded that foreign social media platforms must register in Nigeria before they can operate in the country. Um, this is still reiterating the fact that he wants Twitter gone. So other social media handles, um, social media apps like Facebook, Instagram, Body, whatever, Telegram, whatever it is, must register in Nigeria. I don't know how feasible that would be. You know, having a license by the National Broadcasting Commission for something that is... Um, see, see. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not quite understanding this whole so, demand. So, I mean, this. I'll just say this exactly how I feel it. Um, it's good to be intelligent and it's very, very unfortunate to be gullible because mm. now people are having this conversation about how um, it just, was just recently announced that Instagram, uh, maybe YouTube, all these guys, uh, uh, Facebook, they all need to register with the CAC and mm. all of that. Now people are saying, oh, now I see the reason why, you know, they banned Twitter in the first instance. No, it's um, a terrible decision. It started as a very terrible decision and now we're trying to play catch up and, and miss the fix it, right? Mm. So there's a twist. Yeah. This is the plot twist, ladies. That, that you are everybody enjoying. should register. Yeah, yeah, that you are enjoying. You yeah. know. So, so they're saying that. So Mark, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, mm. who owns both platforms. Yeah. That's a uh, what's it called? Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. yeah, has to. I don't know. Find a way to come and. You know. But they were celebrating him when he visited Nigeria the other time. Why didn't they tell him to register? Thank you very Nigeria? much. It's, all of a sudden now it's important sudden, because the tweet was deleted. That's it. And you see, it's so funny how this is just typical average Twitter stuff. Someone posts a tweet. A lot of people report your tweet. Your account gets banned or for some reason. Mm -hmm. They would check out what you posted. Yeah. And if it goes in line or it goes against certain sensibilities, yeah. it's going to get cancelled. Even on Instagram, if you want to post a comment, you need to censor some words. Yeah, you can't just post... You know, Whatever context it is, yeah. even if it's a friendly... You can't just comment anyhow. You need to censor some words. You can't... I think you, even as a, you can't even say the S-T-U-P asterisk D. Yeah. You know, that word. You can't even say that. You need to edit it. Do you understand what I mean? So it's like a very huge tantrum, unnecessary tantrum. Yeah, uh, like uh, a kid that he took her. He's not yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said so, not me. But you, we get, we get. <laughs> it was an unnecessary yeah, tantrum. That's what it is. I'm being, let's be honest. Time on Twitter. It's not. It's um, not at all. It doesn't make sense. And, and it, it was being compared. All platforms, it's ridiculous. I hate when someone tries to insult my intelligence. It's ridiculous. It was being. It got compared to. Last year, 20th of December, of, November, of, October. Of, no, of October, pardon yeah. me, where people, well, allegedly almost died. At least I have on good authority that people bled. Mm -hmm. if, at least we know see cops, but people I see say people bled. Yes, yes. I saw yes. that, I know. right? Yeah. And it was being compared to that. How in what way? Mm. It's just logic. There's no know. need. I don't know what game they're playing. Um, we are still watching. That's it. We I'm are watching, sure. and you, we are going to be all. We are all going to be careful, anyways, with whatever we are doing on social media. But please, if you have an urgency that you need to be attended to, please <laughs> use other Facebook. I know Boy. Twitter was always quick with the hashtags, but try and use Bridget, other social media. Bridget, you see, it's so funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, let me tell you why it's extra funny to me. It just keeps popping up. The last World Radio Day, mm. which was this year, earlier this year. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how um, I think it was the announcement by the media aide to the president mm. that said, you know, the administration has yeah. done so much to allow journalists, mm. you know, let out the information, the right information and freedom of speech yeah, and all of that, of that yeah. to journalists. Yes. 
But guess what? The entire population was banned from an app. Uh-huh. <laughs> because of one thing. I it's, mean, it's, I mean, it's funny. It's funny, this, but you know, this, let's just weird. keep the conversation it's going, guys. Um, I know that this is where we call it the wraps on trending, but you know, talk about it, share your opinions, but be safe wherever you are doing that from, even if you have VPN and all of that. Please be safe and be careful. Okay? And stop, stop you push you stop carrying your Go national matter to Yankee. <laughs> Everything is trending in Yankee now. Listen, even though you are in Ojo, like, I mean, no, this is yeah, me trending in Yankee. Whiskey. All right, so we'll go on a short break. Don't forget, it's still Throwback Thursday. And uh, just before we come back, we're going to be enjoying one throwback sound that, you know, we grew with. Uh, he's a renowned, amazing veteran artist. You know him. His father was, he was. I'm sure his kids will be. Um, give it up for Paul Clay Diary with Mushari Reo, Ele Dami, Modi Bro. Let's enjoy this video. Hey, Ele Dami. 